I mentioned yesterday um, the idea of it opening, trading down to a previous day's high, not offering any opportunity for a deferred inefficiency, which is what a fair value gap is. I dubbed it a fair value gap is because the market moves away too quickly and it leaves an inefficiency by means of an imbalance in price. So since the candles are moving higher, the imbalance is buy side. So it's buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So it's inefficient in offering down delivery or movement delivered on the downside. So price rotation on a liquidity continuum basis, meaning that the price is efficiently delivered between a range of price action. For instance, if we were to look at the range between 103.20 and 103.40, that's 20 pips for Euro. It's moved up, down, up, down in that range between 40 and 20 multiple times. Notice that? So if price has been moving back and forth between a defined range of 103.40 and 103.20, if we get a bias determined, which is what I'm sharing, I'm sharing my 30 years experience with you, telling you that this is where it was going to go, and then higher still. If we ever get an opening on a candle and it drops down to a previous high, now normally if this would have stopped short, like say the, the low was up here and didn't go all the way down to Monday's high. That would create a typical deferred inefficiency. Meaning that it would go to a fair value gap protocol. Something like what we've seen. Well, let me take it back up one more time. This is a fair value gap between this candle's high and this candle's low and at one candle on the downside. That low that high in between those two price points price only went down so it's a fair value gap yes but a specific category is a SIBI SIBI sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency so it needs to see what to be efficiently balanced upside delivery and that happens on this candle here and then we opened and we were in this weekly candle but I mentioned during this weekly candles formation that we would use this as an inversion fair value gap. So it's typically viewed, if you would just watch a casual viewing of my videos and you would think, okay, well, he says if it goes up here, it's probably gonna start going down. No, that's why it's important to understand narrative. That's mentoring, okay? You only get that from me if you spent time with me, not just a few videos. You cannot assume by watching a few videos or watching anybody else try to do it, you know, and parrot whatever I said incompletely you can't learn that way. You have to have a length of time through exposure and seeing it over and over and over again. So let's go back down to the daily chart. I mentioned yesterday, if we see this formation, and this is what I dubbed a immediate rebalance. So we opened here, traded down to a previous day's high. It doesn't mean it's the previous day immediately to, to the left or yesterday's high. We're always referring to the essence of inefficiency and Redelivery. Fair value gaps highlight those inefficiencies and opportunity for redelivery. So, for instance, like you take a look at this candle here. We have this candle's high, this candle's low, so there's a fair value gap. It trades down, but it doesn't go all the way back down to that high. Notice that? That's fine. That right there, to me, is a breakaway gap. I'll talk a little bit more about breakaway gaps in this lecture. This candle opening it trades down and goes right to this candle's high which is Monday's high so it gives no room or opportunity for a inefficiency to exist why why would that happen if we're bullish and markets are expected to go higher and it does this type of formation you'll want to write this in your journal this is one of the most powerful signatures for immediate dynamic price delivery I said this to you yesterday, and if you've watched any of my older videos, and if you've been with me for a long time as a student, you've heard me refer to an immediate rebalance, and that is one of the strongest algorithmic price delivery signatures you're going to see. Look at the price delivery here on dollar. Look how fast and snappy that was. Notice that? 
to look at just this little portion of price action and then eventually expecting it to trade down here at a deferred time in the future. If the market has a high and the next day we trade above that high and the next day we open above this candle's high, if it trades back down to this candle's high, this is an immediate rebalance. So this is something that I watch intraday and if I watch, and this is why I also teach you to look at the last three days, that this is the secret why I teach it in my YouTube channel. I tell you to look at three days look back all the time. You think it's just the swing highs and swing lows because that's what I said there. But I also said that I left a lot of things out of YouTube. 